Welcome back, everybody. Today, we are back doing an easiest trade video on Madden 24. So, again, we are looking for players who are pretty easy to trade for. Um, I know I used a lot of value in the last one, so we're kind of continuing with that same idea. We're just trying to get the best players that we can get with the least amount of value that we could trade away. So, let's get into it. All right, our first trade is in the books. Isaiah Simmons, I know he's low overall, but he's a fast player. He's probably the best user you could get in the game, unless it's an auto-generated rookie. But other than that, Isaiah Simmons is the guy you want to have. I traded away two pretty bad offensive linemen. They're both older, low overalls. This is a great trade to start your franchise. All right, our next trade is in for Joshua Palmer. We get away a um, right guard, low overall, an old Randy Gregory in the third. So really just a third for Joshua Palmer. Um... I know he's 79 overall, but he is 23 years old. He is a very, very good wide receiver in this game. He progresses very well. He has, he has great catching abilities. Um, not really an incredible route runner, so you're not really going to put him in the slot. But as like an um, outside wide receiver, you kind of need one of those because he isn't even a speed guy. You really want a speed guy in the slot. But with him, you just have a true wide receiver, um, too. That's what he probably is ceiling is progression wise maybe if you do really well you could go to wide receiver one category but a third for joshua palmer is a great deal for anyone who's looking for a young wide receiver all right our next trade is in we are showing you how to get a good tight end in cole Komet. he's 24 years old 82 overall with a star development trait um we gave up a third and a seventh and that's a future third so it's more comparable to a um like this year's um a late third early fourth is probably the uh, comparison and trade value in this game um that center old center kevin Givens, um like a 26 year old d tackle he's not going to progress sam darnold we all know sam darnold um the backup quarterback and he really only gave up a third and a seventh to get cole Komet. so that's a great tight end um he holds a lot of value he's a great player so i would do this and i would do this in most of my Rebuilds, and yeah, I really like having Cole come out of my team. All right, next trade is in Jalen Warren for um, Isaiah Oliver in a fourth-round pick, basically, because those offensive linemen are anyone you could sign in free agency. Um, Jalen Warren's a great running back in Madden. In most of my uh, times playing Madden, I always see him. He's, like, consistent above four yards per carry, which is all you really need. He's a good running back. He progresses well, and he is young. So he's a great running back to have on your team and really easy to start a franchise with. Again, might look like I gave up a lot, but that is a 23-year-old left tackle. That's already 76 overall. Rasheed Walker, you're giving up backups at all those positions. Borderline not even backups. They're old. You don't even really want them on your team because so you'd probably be getting rid of them anyways. And a fourth-round pick, and you are getting a 76 overall 23-year-old left tackle. I mean, this trade is ridiculous. You're starting your franchise off so well. Fourth round pick, you are not finding a left tackle in the fourth round. Rasheed Walker's value, realistically, if you were to draft someone of his skill, is borderline mid-first round. And what I'm trading is, I don't even know if that can move me up, really, realistically, into like a second round pick, a third or a second round pick. I'm giving up barely any value in getting a mid-first rounder. I'm doing this every single time. This is probably the best trade I have. This trade is absolutely ridiculous. Marquis Bell, if you put him as your sub linebacker, he is almost guaranteed to get star or superstar within a season. I'm trading away nothing, literally nothing, and I am getting a linebacker who could become the focal point of my whole linebacking unit. Um, pairing him with an Isaiah Simmons or even a bigger linebacker since he is so fast. Marquise Bell is already a great user because he's a converted safety in real life. He's going to get star, going to get something around there. Maybe even superstar. I've seen that happen before if he plays well enough. This trade is ridiculous. Again, crazy trade. Geno Stone's 24 years old, 81 overall. He also progresses very well, um, not overall-wise, but he usually gets really good abilities. And even if he doesn't progress at all, you're getting 81 overall, 24-year-old, while trading away backups. Legit, that D-end probably won't even make it past cuts. Ray Ray McLeod, older receiver, 73 overall. Um, Jordan Mason, just like a random running back. 
you're getting a great safety. Next year's third and a seventh, Randy Gregory and some other other no-name, low-overall players, and you are getting Kirby Joseph. He's 22 years old and a star development. Think about that. That's a draftable player, probably mid to early first. I mean, 22 years old, you're getting prime age, and he has a dev trait already. And he's a 77 overall. That is an insane trade. And we have one more trade left. This guy, you can move him around. But I'm still in awe about this trade and how easy it is to get such a good safety. Sam Darnold and some O-linemen for Kyle Duggar. I mean, I love Kyle Duggar in franchise. I love moving him to linebacker, moving to free safety. You can move him around anywhere. This guy could hit, he could play, he can move fast. He is 27 years old, so he is not a great age. But, I mean, the guy is a stud. What a good player. I love using him in my franchises. You could really just do anything with him. Um, the age is a little bit worrisome, but he has star development. So he could develop probably into an 85, 86 overall by the end. Doesn't have, He's not expensive. I mean, you just gave up Sam Darnold, and you're getting Kyle Duggar. I'm doing this every single time. This is such a good trade. Thank you guys for watching this video today. Um, I mean, these trades were... I, I honestly think these trades are better than the last video's trades. You're getting so much value for trading very little. But um, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you soon. Peace.